my name is Loza Maliambo. I'm from Cote d'Ivoire and my label is eponymous, Loza Maliambo. Alright, so um, how long have you been in South Africa for the show? Um, I've been here for three days. Three days? Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about the preparation that went into um, this show for, for this specific show? Um, I think it, it was pretty laid back because I think the, the staff here was amazing. They already had everything laid out for us. So we just came in, did rehearsal. Um, we pitched our um, hair and makeup, you know, and the, and then that was it. <laughs> okay, so and then what was your inspiration for the designs that you showed us today? Okay, um, again, um, like I said, I, I'm, I was, I'm from Côte d'Ivoire, but I was, originally I was born in Brazil and I grew up between Côte d'Ivoire and the U.S. So I've been exposed to a lot of different culture, you know, and traveling a lot while I was young also I was exposed to different cultures. So I think it definitely influences my aesthetic vision throughout the collection. In this specific collection, I was inspired by traditional African dancers um, with, you know, um, 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 folk um, inspiration such as, you know, that some dancers ha wear um, raffia um, trimming at the bottom of, uh, on the ankle and on their wrist and I like the similarities that this has with the circus um, culture with ruffles at the bottom of the pants, ruffles, you know, and the jesters with the checkered prints and everything. So I wanted to explore the, diff the similarities between these two very different worlds um, in into something very eclectic which came out pretty nice but there's also some Asian influence in there if you can tell yeah. um, in, in some of the jackets some of the and some of the looks and um, the famous um, wrap that the African woman is always wearing you know in a wax print this she always has this we call it pang in Cote d'Ivoire yeah and so what I did was just an up modern version of what they wear every day which I think worked out pretty nice throughout the whole collection so do you wear your own clothes or? Um, sometimes, <laughs> yeah. I mean, special I, occasions. yes, on special, on of special course. occasions because, you know, I, it's, 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 it's very, it's like an, an artist creating something and then once it's done, you're like, okay, what's the next? So you never get to really enjoy fully what you, what you create yeah. because you're always thinking about what you're going to, going to do next. Do yeah. Okay, so I want to ask you some questions that are not to do with your sure. designs, just some fashion questions. We want to know like the meanings, that, there are some people that don't know, like avant-garde. Yeah. Do you know the meaning? Can you explain to us what exactly these mean? Sure. Um, I think for me, what how I would um, explain it is avant-garde is just thinking forward, you know, as opposed to contemporary, which is like in the now, you know, what's happening now. And avant-garde is more like a visionary to, you know, a, a window to the future. Yeah, so when you think of avant-garde um, fashion, it's, you know, what's, what are you doing now that we haven't done before? So. And then haute couture? Um, it kind of, I think it would go into the same range. Okay, yeah. and then can you tell us the difference between A line and then a B line? Is there a B line? I've never heard of a B line. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Okay. But I know that an A line is just kind of like, you know, the A shaped skirt, for instance, or yeah. A shaped dress, you know, yeah. you'll see something like that. But a B line would be like a curve. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Alright, so um, what inspired today's outfit? I, I love it. The um, like bondage style. Yeah, I just want it to be really comfortable because yeah. there was so much going on, so much running around that, you know, I wanted to be comfortable. But I still wanted to remain true to the brand and make a statement with the sandals, obviously, because a lot of people know about them. So. Yeah, stunning. Coucou, c'est Loza Maliambo, et vous regardez Right Fact TV.